welcome back my friends to another rousing rendition been a while since we did a little driving and, and talking so i thought we'd do that this morning yeah come on bye buddy come on come on there in morning gotta get somewhere 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives we're going to talk about it every chance we get to raise awareness by doing so hopefully that number will start to drop. I'm a small cog in the wheel, man. But that don't mean I'm not going to do my part. Now, vets, I love you. You have a place here. Let me let me say again. Raising awareness for those who, who may not be aware that's not in the veteran community. The veteran community is very well aware. And and, and the vet community is, a, is, is part of the backbone of this nation. And they are tough. And they are strong. And all veterans, all military personnel are welcome here at Choir Boys Cutlery. I just want y'all to know that I love you and you got a place here. Back to blue over here. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And then finally, if you're an addict, never quit me. Well, I'm on the way to work this morning. Uh, got some computer training and, and got Granny Smith up here in front of me that, that decided, you know, she's got zero places to be. I'm, I'm just assuming it's a woman. I don't it's probably a guy. I, I don't know. I don't care. I, they just need to apply the gas. You know what I'm saying? Now, I left in plenty of time. That's not the problem. It's kind of rainy here. Uh, Megatron helped me the other day. Change out some fuses. And when I say help me, she changed out fuses. So, we got everything kind of going good. I got to get by and see my guy, Richard. Check on the preacher. Check on him. That's a good dude, man. Richard's a good dude. Just all around. I can't say a whole lot about him ain't going to, but just super guy, man. We went to eat uh, with he and his better half uh, last Saturday night and had a good time. And uh, his better half's daughter, Miss Cassie, who, who the trip, she was in uh, mine and Megatron's wedding. She's all grown up. So we had a good time. But What we're going to do today, guys, is a what's in your pocket, because I'm old scabs talking all around the world. Oh, getting back to the fuses, everything works good. Um, at first, when you turn the truck on, turn the El Diablo on, if you had radio, if the radio come on, you had uh, your blinkers, your windshield wipers, that kind of thing. Uh, changing the fuses took care of all that. Now, the radio's on, works pretty good, actually, uh, but nothing else does. So, when we get home this afternoon, we're going to have to have to fix that because you got to have windshield wipers. got brand new windshield wipers on there. Uh, they just don't work. So, say, Scab, what's that got to do with a knife? Nothing. Yep, see, y'all about fell over there. Y'all got to pay attention, son. You'll be over here with me in my lap. Now, Scab, what you got on here today? The Civivi Flipper. Given to me by the Shredder. We're going low profile today. You say, Scab, that all you carry? No. Uh -uh. I got a bunch. But that's all I'm going to pull out and show you. Now, I love this knife. A lot of guys, the flip flippers are a mixed bag. People either love them, they hate them. You know, some people, I, my, when it comes to a flipper now, I prefer an unassisted flipper. Now, I like spring-assisted opening knives. You say, Gavin, it don't make sense. Well, yeah, it does. There's the spring-assisted opening. Uh, several of my ZTs are that way. They'll pop open on you in a heartbeat, son. And I like that. Quick access. But when it comes to my flippers, let me see if I can talk to the hand. When it comes to my flippers, I like something that's got a good action, you know, good detail and all that. But not assisted because it's a fidget knife. That, that, that's, now this knife right here, the one the shredder gave me, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'll probably carry it with me on this new job a good bit. It's, uh, now here's the deal guys, I got, I took this job, uh, it's a bigger company, like I said, I'm not going to say a whole lot about who they are because I don't, you know, people get weird about that, but y'all yeah, heard the term it's always easier to get a job when you got a job. Listen to old scab. It's always easier to get a job when you got a job. Now, I'll be 50 year old this year. 
and I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot, but I know about having to look for a job. And it's crazy, man. There's been times, and this is the God's honest truth, for the past seven or eight years I've been in utilities, underground utilities, marking utilities, locating, basically, USSE, State Center, JA, ETM, all them, work for all of them. All good companies, really are. I mean, USSE and State Center, uh, they're production-based. I don't give a shit what anybody tells you. Before and before y'all, if anybody goes to work for USSE, you need to get a hold of me. They are some phenomenal people, great people. The people in in Jacksonville and St. Johns County, I'm telling you, man, uh, dude, just uh, Matt Gray and, and Christian King and. And my boy Bert down there in St. Augie. Uh, I, I mean, you know, and I could go on and on. Griff, my guy, Perny. Now, Perny's six foot six, 450 pounds. Perny's a big dude. Wouldn't hurt, wouldn't hurt a, a, a hair on your head. But that's somebody you'll make mad, son. And y'all can talk about all that karate and all that shit you want. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Man, six foot six, 450 pounds. You ain't karate in that, son. Now, Perny, Perny, y'all come on back and join me. Perny, like I said, is one of the nicest guys alive. And I think sometimes the good Lord makes them that way. You know what I'm saying? Just a good dude. Give you the shirt. Perny, give you the shirt off his back, son. But USIC is a good, good company. But before you go to work for him now, get a hold of me um, and I I will never ever they put food on my plate and pay my bills but guys if you're not a young young man or if you're not highly motivated or if you don't you know you don't want to go to USIC because them boys son they get down with the get down you hear what I'm telling you I mean they do from the time you clock in till the time you clock out and people always Oh, Skip, this is me. I'm fast piece, man. I need all that overtime. Give me all that overtime. I want all that overtime. You were about too much USIC, you'd be like, man, I don't ever want to work overtime again. I, you can have overtime. Because you, you can make all the money you want. If you can't, if you ain't got time to spend it, what good is it? And boys work. Get a hold of them before you go there now. Steak center's pretty good and all that. But I said all I have to say, I work for some good companies, right? And every time I'm with a company... Somebody else be like, Scap, you ever need a job? Hit us up. You know, that works until you need a job. And it's like, ooh, well, uh, Scap, you know, yeah, I know. You said when you need a job, give you a call. And, and I'm not talking about people just being courteous. No, I've had people offer me jobs when I've been somewhere. Do you need a job? So I got this job, so appreciative, and I kind of like this job. Now, 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 we got a big fish we going after. A big fish. It's going. My boy Schwan's helping me out. Sean, the guy who does all the woodworking. Um, I can't say a lot about that period, but it 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 would be. It'd be huge, okay? Getting on where he's at would be... That where I'm at would, could work into a career. Absolutely. You work hard and do all that crap. And you should. Listen, if you work for somebody and they pay you a wage, you owe that person... Let me tell you what you owe that person. You're 100% best. If you get... I don't give a shit if you get paid to clean a toilet... If you get paid to cut grass, uh, weld, uh, do the brakes, whatever you get paid to do, you owe them people your 100% best. Have always done that? No. Do I feel bad about that? Yes. Because, see, it ain't, it ain't about, oh, they did me wrong. That's on them. What I found with a lot of people when you hear, that, oh, they did me wrong, I got screwed. You, you get in about one tenth of the story. That's why uh, a few weeks ago when I come on here and I told y'all that I'm responsible, I got fired. That's the truth. Have I been mad about it? Yeah. 
yeah. Have I made excuses? A time or two, yeah. I had not put it on here, ain't going to. That's just me venting here and there. Now I don't, when I say that, that might be venting, that's venting to somebody that's super duper close to me. To Richard or Megan or something like that. Uh, Sean, and that's, that's it. That ain't, you know, if I'm talking to Jimbo or something, Dale, you know, Danny, anybody, you know, a bunch of people close to me. No, that's, that's, that circle that that kind of bitching goes to. It's super small. And that's just that. I don't even know where the hell we're going with all this. I really don't. I'm just driving to work talking to you. So, I'm going to shut up. No, here's where I was going with it. No matter who you work for, guys, especially you young bucks, get in there, bust your ass, and then at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you get fired or you walk away or at the end of your time, Nobody, they may say, man, that dude right there, he screwed up bad, but he was a working ass. That's what you always want to follow them followed up with, man, I wish that wouldn't happen. Or man, we hate, hate that, man, losing that guy is going to be an issue. And let me, let me say this real quick, then I'm going to talk here. Nobody, nobody is irreplaceable. Nobody. Listen to me. If you want these guys who walk around thinking, oh, this place couldn't run without me, quit. Quit. Go back in a week. See what happens. Life goes on, son. Ain't nobody here placing. Nobody. It may, it may, it may throw them off. It may throw them back. It may put a, put a, put a wrench in the plans. But they gonna move on. You know, if you die, you know, die and come back in five years. Life goes on. They can't what in the world. It does, guys. So approach life that way. Work hard. Live hard. Hell, party hard. Love who you love with all you got. Make the best of what you got. And when you're gone, because everybody's going to go. Y'all going to wake up one day to hear the new little scab going on. You know what I'm saying? That's part of life. I'm closer to dying than I'm living. They say, oh, midlife. No, I'm, I'm well past my midlife. I know that. Doctor told me that. Doctor told me that. But when I go, it's just, yeah, how you going to be remembered? First of all, as a good husband, and I got a long way to go on that, be remembered as a good husband, a good father, a good grandfather. Those, those, that's what matters. Be a good friend, a good man. I don't care about money. I really don't. You can tell, guys, you can tell by the way I'm dressed, what I drive. Megan makes a billion dollars a year. I mean, we're fine. Because she's worked hard. She's earned it. That girl, let me tell you something about Megan. And I ain't going to put a whole lot of her business out here. Let me tell you about Megatron. People talk about privilege this, privilege that. Megatron went to school in Jamaica, okay? No matter why, she just did. They didn't teach her school in English. They taught it in Patois. So Megatron taught herself Patois and then taught and then graduated high school at 17, 16, 17 year old. Megatron will go on. And, and I got a long way to go to, to live up to certain standards, not set on by her, good woman, but by me. But when I'm gone, and, and let me say this real quick, and we'll leave it, leave it with this. I know I've said that three or four times. 
when people say, oh, when I die, I don't want no tears. There better be some tears at my funeral. Y'all hear me? I want some crying, snot flying. I want people just falling out everywhere. Oh, if you don't, I'm a whole cast. Now, after the funeral, after the funeral, though, don't, don't worry about crying no more and all that. I mean, here and there, you know, shed a tear, something like that. But the main part of all this, and I've been all over the world, is especially you young guys, every day build your legacy. Every day. Work hard. Be a man of character. If you tell somebody you're going to do something, do your dead damn level best to do it. If you can't do it, let them know that you can't. That's what it's all about, guys. Not who has the most. You ain't ever seen a hearse pulling a U-Haul. Well, we've been all over the world. Guys, I love you. I'm here to the place. I'm Scab. You're not. And like my guy Mikey said, everything's going to be all right.